Crimea's main connection to the outside world, today in the hands of men with machine guns. They wore no insignia, but their military fatigues were a Russian design. Their weapons were Russian standard issue. Simferopol International Airport is nominally in Ukraine, but not under Ukrainian control tonight. The armed men in green military uniforms have taken over the building containing the control tower in Crimea's main civilian airport. This local activist said the troops were there to stop far-right militia from Kiev. Radicalism and fascism are not welcome in Crimea. This is our slogan and we don't want radicals from Ukraine, our other regions and other countries to visit us in Crimea. The extraordinary military movements went on all day. The new government in Kiev complained that these Russian attack helicopters had violated its airspace. This evening, armoured personnel carriers appeared on the road near Simferopol. Kiev said it was an invasion. But Irina Khavalko, like many here in Sevastopol, is suspicious of the new Kiev government and supported the Russian move. Who else can we turn to? Who can defend us? Thank goodness the Russian fleet is here to defend us. This Russian naval ship appeared at the entrance to the world-famous Balaclava Bay, another show of strength by the Russian armed forces. Ukraine has lost control of the seas around Crimea and its main airports. But in Kiev, the country's acting president said he would react carefully. I appeal personally to President Putin to immediately stop provoking us, pull out troops from Crimea and cooperate by sticking to agreements already signed between us. Across the border in Russia, the man he replaced, the ousted president, Viktor Yanukovych, appeared in public for the first time since he fled last week. Ukraine has asked Russia to hand him over as a suspect, but he seemed defiant. I am eager and ready to fight for the future of Ukraine. I was forced to leave, and there were threats to my life and to people close to me. Power was taken by nationalist, fascist thugs who are in the minority in Ukraine. These security camera pictures released tonight show the moment the regional parliament was stormed yesterday by men with machine guns and rocket-propelled grenades. The TV station was also taken today. This is not yet a war, but Kiev hasn't moved to reassert control, and if it does, Moscow made it clear today that its troops are waiting.